if you're out driving around the countryside this winter, keep an eye out for ringneck pheasants, especially if you happen to be near a pick cornfield, some CRP acres, or a windbreak. Uh, in fact, the best place would have all three of those components close together. Uh, the, the pheasants would use the windbreak for shelter, uh, and uh, the CRP for cover, and the pick cornfield for food. Uh, February's uh, starting to get a little tough time now for pheasants as we move into the latter part of winter. A lot of the food is gone and of course we've got the snow cover so uh, lots of times especially early in the morning or in the evening you'll see the pheasants kind of scratching down through the snow out in stubble fields like the pit corn or sometimes maybe even soybeans. Uh, but uh, anyway uh, we've got two hens in the front here that are feeding on some corn and then of course, the more colorful rooster uh, back in, or the male, uh, a little ways behind them there. So uh, anyway, watch for pheasants if you're out and about this winter. If you do happen to be out driving around in more open country looking for pheasants or other birds and wildlife this winter, keep an eye out for these neat little gray partridge. They could be hunkered right down in a picked cornfield or, or maybe even better yet, uh, kind of a plowed stubble field. Uh, they often kind of look just about like a dirt clot because they aren't very big and they're usually kind of uh, sitting there like a ball, but uh, there'll be several little dark shapes because there's usually several gray partridge together. They like to travel around in like what they call a cubby. But uh, anyway, they uh, often inhabit the same habitat as pheasants do. Uh, notice again some of the little rusty red color on the head and a little darker red color, uh, those stripes there on the flanks of these gray partridge. They're often seen in pretty wide open country. They, uh, they don't usually like cover so much as pheasants do. Uh, hardy little birds sit right out in the open and they're quite uncommon. Uh, you're much more likely to see a pheasant than a gray partridge. But if you do, uh, consider that a, a bonus bird. This little roundish orange beetle with the black spots on its back looks remarkably like a lady beetle, which some people would call a ladybug or a ladybird, but it actually is a beetle, just not a lady beetle. This is a tortoise beetle, and tortoise beetles are in a totally different family than the lady beetles are. Now this little Argus tortoise beetle likes to eat the leaves of field bindweed, otherwise known as the wild morning glory. That's a kind of a vine that uh, winds itself through weeds and other plants out in prairies and grassland habitats. Uh, the flowers are gonna be either kind of pale pink or sometimes white. But anyway, uh, there's uh, poisonous or toxic chemicals in those field bindweed leaves. Now the Argus tortoise beetle can can uh, eat those leaves and uh, not be hurt by it. And uh, they actually store those chemicals in their bodies as a defense to keep from being eaten by other predators out there. Uh, but uh, anyway, if you're out and about next summer, be on the lookout for this, uh, you might say, lady beetle look-alike, the Argus tortoise beetle. <laughs>